What is good, Grey Gang? We're right here. We're actually going to try to do a little bit of snake trapping. Now, if you remember, about a couple weeks ago, not too long ago, we actually was minnow trapping, and we ended up catching snakes on accident. So today, we're basically going to try to do the same exact thing, except on purpose, and act like we know what we're doing. Now, we're going to go for two different types of snakes. We're going to go for dry land snakes, meaning, I don't know, black snakes, copperheads, things that, like, just crawl on land, and then we're going to go after water snakes like we caught last time. Now, since they're two completely different animals with completely different habits, you try to trap them in two different ways. We're going to be using minnow traps for both of these. I mean, believe it or not, minnow traps, they actually work v extremely well as snake traps too. Because the snakes do the same thing. They crawl through this hole and then they can't figure out how to get out of it. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I guess they're just not that smart either. But we're using minnow traps for both of them. The black coated versus the regular stainless whatever, I don't think that matters. We're just using two different traps today. As for the water snakes, the bait, we're just going to be using dog food because we're going to try to catch minnows first. From what I know, the best bait to catch water snakes is actually just minnows. So the best technique is to just go catch minnows first and then let the water snakes come to the minnows. So that's that. As for land, we're actually going to have a bait and it's luckily... I know exactly where to get the bait. Now, one of the best baits for land snakes is actually chicken eggs. And I got a lot of chickens. Actually, I have four, but still. They lay a lot of eggs. Those four chickens lay a lot of eggs. Now, I'm just going to come down here, pick up about two of them. Then, I'm just going to come over here and put them in my cage. Fishing fanny pack today. It's actually matching the shirt I'm wearing. <laughs> Red camo, baby. I'm just going to keep these in here until we get down to where we're going to set them. That way, there's no chance of them breaking accidentally. We'll keep these suckers safe, secure, and close to me. But anyways, guys, now let's head on down to the creek and to a really snaky-looking outfit spot. Let's go ahead and set these traps because the quicker we set them, that's the more time they're going to have to work. We're going to come back in the morning or just tomorrow sometime and check the traps and see what we got. But first, we got to go set them. Let's head out. Ah! And we're pulling up on our first spot. We're going to try to trap the dry land snakes. We got a giant random looking cave right there with a bunch of rocks in it. Then there's also another big random looking rock cave right over there. Along with this creek right here. And I'll be honest, I generally don't see a ton of snakes out here on my property anywhere. But whenever I do see snakes, they're usually just randomly crossing the road. So we're going to use the black trap for this. First thing, we'll come in here and get the bait. The eggs, soft and secure, right there in that little fanny pack. And we'll come over. We'll just put the minnow trap together. And then to be pretty simple, we're just going to set it right down here in the creek. Because I'm pretty sure the snakes follow this creek and they will come out of that cave down into the creek. So we'll just set this right there. And now all we got to do, guys, is wait. There's a special scent that, you know, there's actually a special scent on the eggs that the snakes really like. If you buy the ones from the store, they're not going to work as good because they don't smell like a chicken's insides. Those are fresh. Like, those were laid a few days ago, if not well yesterday but if you're going out snake trapping you really want some fresh farm eggs preferably you know as fresh as possible now let's head on down to the creek which should be a whole lot easier to trap since you know well i don't know we've done it not too long ago and actually caught snakes accidentally so if we're trying hopefully it shouldn't be too hard should it i don't know guys here we go tell you what guys we're actually going to pick out this piece of creek right here now to trap water snakes you want to want to go to water i mean that's kind of self-explanatory but still Another thing with water snakes that's really important is you want to leave a little bit of air. Like, you don't want to fully submerge the trap because if a snake goes in there, it'll kill it no matter what size it is. Whether it's that big or three, four foot long, it's going to kill the snake. So you want to leave a little bit of air so that the snakes don't die in the trap. Just in case, I don't know, maybe you do want to eat them, maybe you don't. Maybe you'll be too small. I'm going to set up the camera right there, put together the minnow trap real quick. We're basically going, doing the same exact thing as minnow trapping. We're actually minnow trapping, except after we catch the minnows, we're just going to hope that a snake rolls in on it. So we got random dog food in there. Move on over here. We, I could go over there and suspend it from that tree, but I think I'm just going to go simple and toss it right in here to where it's decently shallow and uh, not deep enough to submerge the trap. So I'm thinking right there that looks good guys as you can see it's not fully submerged so the snake's not gonna die and another little fun fact about this particular area one day about i don't know like a year and a half ago i came out here and was just looking in the creek keep in mind that this weird looking outfit creek actually runs into my pond right there yeah there it is over there it is see it yeah it's my pond but i came over here i was looking in the creek and i looked in the pipe that goes between them and there was this big old snake it was like four foot long 
and it had a full-size bluegill in its mouth. I was terrified, guys. I couldn't sleep for like four days. But anyways, guys, we're gonna give these traps about a day, like I said, and then we'll come out here, we'll check them, see what we got. I don't, if we catch a snake, I don't know, we might eat it, we might not. We'll see what happens. We have no idea what's gonna happen. I've literally like never purposely snake trapped before. Well, I have once, but we didn't catch anything. But we're gonna try it again, see how, what, how we can do. But before I put you up, don't forget, if you wanna support the channel, a great way to do that is kindlegray1.com slash shop. That's the website where you can pick up this KG hat, this KG long sleeve shirt, this KG fanny pack, and these KG fish socks. These are actually bass. These are one of my new favorite items. As I have this random looking bug crawling on my leg. Be gone, son. But we got these fish socks right here. They're one of my favorites. kindlegray1.com slash shop. First link in the description. Help us out. Support the channel a little bit. Okay, guys. It is actually the next day. We're down here. There's a blue heron, dude. I don't know if y'all can see him flying. There he goes. He's flying right through there, but I don't know. He was just right over here on the palm bank. Whenever I drove up to come check the snake trap, he just flew out of here. I thought he's kind of cool, but we're going to come over here and check the first snake trap. This is the water snake trap. After this, we'll actually go on up and check for the land snake trap that we set with eggs. And you know, hopefully we got something on both. Or maybe we'll have something in neither of them. I don't know. Snakes are pretty hard to catch from what I know, but bro, I think we got one. Bro, we got one. We got two. They ain't bad size either. Goodness, son. Snake trapping must be easier than I thought. Easier than I remember. Goodness, man. No wonder I never, ever catch minnows over here. I like never catch minnows in this part of the creek. Probably because there's snakes infested in it. I won't get too close just because, uh, you know, I'm kind of like Indiana Jones. I don't like snakes, and I'm really scared of them. I don't know enough about them to not be scared, I guess. But from what I know, I believe these are northern water snakes. And I don't believe they're poisonous. They're commonly confused with a copperhead because of their patterns on them. I don't know how good you can see them because this big wire cage here. We'll see if we can do this. There's the bottoms of them. I wish y'all still can't really see them that good. But uh, there's the bottoms of them. That way you see that there is snakes in there. There's minnows in there, too. There's a minnow and a crawdad, looks like. Like we was talking about yesterday, first you gotta catch the minnows, then the snakes will come to the minnows. And, uh, there's heads in there. I don't know if y'all can see right there. That's just a minnow head. That's all it is. The rest of it's been eaten. Now we can see a little bit in there. You got one's head right here, another one's head right there. They're both pretty big, but I really don't think either one of them's big enough to eat. I also don't know if you're supposed to eat water snakes, so... We'll just leave them alone like that, but... Now the question, since we're not going to eat these guys because we have no idea about them, what do we do with them? Oh, snap. This guy's getting close. This guy's getting close to us. If we can get up close personal with his head. I don't know anything about snakes. I literally don't know anything about snakes except the black snake's not poisonous and a copperhead is poisonous. I know a little bit about these just because I've caught them before. But keep in mind, guys, the last time I caught them was like three years ago. So that's been a long time. I really don't know much about them. The ones that we did catch three ago, they were pretty big. Like, they were that big around. It was also back whenever I had like less than 100 subscribers. So, yeah, those videos aren't the best quality. This one should be a whole lot cooler. That is is crazy dude i have no idea what we're gonna do with them but for now we're just gonna leave them in the minnow trap right there we're actually gonna head on up check the dry land one see if we got a copperhead if we have a copperhead hopefully he'll be big enough to eat but if he's not i don't really know these guys here i don't believe they're big enough to eat but we're still gonna check them out we're still gonna look at them because that's still really cool and that's still a briar trying to scrape my face off. okay guys let's head on up there check the eggs see if we got anything in that trap we got two snakes overnight i don't know guys that's pretty cool especially whenever you can look in there and see the minnows and the minnows that they actually eaten so far there was probably more too that one's gut looked pretty thick so he's probably ate a few minnows while he's been in there but anyways guys i'm gonna put you up head on up on the trapping shack on wheels let's get on up there to the dry land snake trap see if we got anything in there here it is here it is um let's see do we got anything it's still there the eggs aren't gone so if we did catch anything it didn't swallow the eggs um no nah, i don't i don't think we got anything at all on it but that's okay. We're actually just going to leave it because I don't really know what else to do. We're just going to leave it and hope that one day we'll drive down the road here, just peek over, and if we have snakes, I don't know, but we'll have snakes. That's all I know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Now let's head on somewhere. I have an idea of what I'm going to do with these snakes. Um, we're not going to eat them, like I said earlier. I have an idea of what we may do. I have an idea. And no, we're not going to feed them through the pool pond. Even though that would be epic. Okay, guys, it's been about 15 seconds after I just said that. And something, originally my plan was, okay, we can't do anything with them. We don't want them here. Let's just take them to the river and drop them off. But whenever I say feed them to the pool pond, that sparked a new idea. Do we make, do we make a snake pool pond? But then I've been thinking about it a little bit more. 
And I don't really know if that'd be a great idea. Because, I mean, these guys can literally climb straight up a tree. They definitely will not stay in a pool pond. Unless we put some cage around it. And then it's really weird because you're like caging in snakes. And then I become a snake handler. Uh-uh. No, I ain't doing that. I don't like snakes, man. Not that there's anything wrong with snake handlers. I'm just saying I'm scared of snakes. And I am not about to touch them. Or even kind of get near them. Let me draw out a scenario for you. Okay, so we come up here today. We set up the pool pond with two snakes. Well, we're, we're looking at it. It's all cool and everything. We come back tomorrow. There's only one snakes. Where's it at? Oh, snap. I start looking. I turn around. There it is. Ah, I'm dead. Yeah, let's just take them to the river. I don't like that scenario. No, sir. I ain't dying today. I still got a minor trap to set. My life is not over. I still got deer season, and squirrel season, and rabbit season, and crow season. Uh-uh, I ain't dying today. Ah, all right, boys, we're at the creek. I mean the river. Yeah, this ain't no creek. It is massive. I mean, it's not like Ohio or Mississippi or Missouri River big, but it is kind of big for, you know, compared to my creek. Now, I know what you're thinking. Kendall, you know, dude, like, why are you putting these, why are you putting these snakes back into the world if you kind of don't like them? Well, it's not that I don't like them. It's just that I don't like them eating my fish. If they eat the river's fish, I don't care. And plus, I mean, they are snakes, and God did kind of put them here for a reason. So they do serve some kind of purpose. Even though I may not understand that purpose, they are here for a reason. And I don't have any reason at all to kill them. Hashtag environmentalist. Now, I believe I have no idea what to do. These snakes are extremely lively. I don't really know how to turn them out without, like, them just getting out here quick. So, guess we're just going to try to do the best can. Now, these are extremely lively. Looks like just a big pile of snakes. Extremely scary. Um, I'm kind of scared right now, because if I get bit, I'm probably going to start crying. Okay, that's all we're going to do for now. We're going to let them come out. Okay, there's one. There's one. Oh, snap, dude. He's small, dude. What in the world? Dude, he's done disappeared. He disappeared right there. That's kind of scary, dude. I don't like that. <laughs> I ain't got a clue where he is. I've lost him. He's right there, and I don't know where he is. That is creepy. All right, let's forget about him. Focus on the other one. Uh, there's some good video of him. Okay, there's that one coming out. As you can see, while they can kind of get confused with copperheads, they have a very, very similar lock. They have a very similar pattern. There goes him. He skirted up there real quick. Goodness. Now I'll be... Wait, was that three? We had that little one that just skirted away right here, that other one that skated over there, and then we still have this one. So that was three. That wasn't two. Oh, snap, dude. There he goes. Oh, snap, man. See, that looks exactly like a copperhead, but he's not, because he swims. And copperheads, see, that's what I'm talking about. Can y'all see what he's doing? He's going straight up, uh, like a 90 degree bank. There ain't no way we're going to keep him in a pool pond. Now, let's see what we can do with this guy. I hope he don't try to strike at me. We're getting some pretty good footage of him here. As long as he don't jump out and try to break my hand, I think we'll be good. We'll name this guy Charbander. Because Charlie is not a snake name, and I was kind of about to name him Charlie. He's a decent sized snake, and I'm not about to reach in there and grab him. But I don't think he's big enough to eat. You feel me? I mean, you can definitely see why they get confused with copperheads, as I did the first time I caught him. But these aren't copperheads because, I don't know, something about the head is different, and I don't know, maybe the tail. I'm not really sure, but there is a few ways to... Yeah, see? Kind of getting scared. <laughs> the trap moved. Uh, oh, no, that ain't what we want. And then we'll dump him out right here, and we're just going to call it a day. We're going to wait for a sap sucker to come out, and we're going to get some footage of him. Come on out. Come on out, Charmander. The only way to get out is to come towards me, which sounds like a really bad idea, and I think I'll start backing up now. Come on, buddy. I'm not going to kill you. Not today, at least. He has no idea what's going on. Like, both of his bros just got out, and he doesn't know what's going on. That's what was in the trap. I accidentally dumped it out. But it looks like a minnow that they didn't eat. And there was some more stuff, but I kind of went crazy smacking the trap around. I think I lost it all. There was a few heads in there and a dead crawdad. He may have drowned it, though. I don't know. Actually, I don't know how the crawdad died. Unless these snakes killed him, because they definitely didn't eat him. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. For real, though, dude. You do need to get out of here. Oh, snap, dude. That is scary. Look at his stinking tongue. Oh, oh, snap. He just turned on the jets. Charmander turned on the jets. Oh, snap. Do I chase him or do I, like, try to hide? Because, oh, snap, man. Look, see? Look what I'm telling you guys. You can't keep that thing in a pool pond. You can't keep that thing in a pool pond. 
There ain't no way. That is stinking crazy. That is scary. That is scary. Why am I afraid of snakes? I don't know. He just climbed a 90 degree wall. That kind of makes sense why I'm scared of them. They're so fast. He turned on the jets. He went from like zero to 60 in like a second. That's quicker than a mule. That's insane. Ain't nothing quicker than a mule. Here's the crawdad though. As I look around, because that snake is still in there. I'm not even kidding. That, that little bitty snake, the first one that came out, is still in there. He's probably about to get in the mule and drive off. But as far as I know, he's still in there somewhere. So I'm going to be careful. But uh, here's that crawl. See, I don't know if they killed him or if he just randomly died, but they didn't eat him, and he's dead. I don't know, guys. You tell me. Snakes scare me to death, dude. I don't even know why I'm trying to trap them. That doesn't really make sense. They scare him to death, yet I'm voluntarily trying to catch them, which makes them mad. Come on, Kendall. You make no sense. That is scary. There's three snakes within that little distance. That is terrifying. I am getting on the mule, and I will not get off till I'm home. I tell you what we're gonna do guys the next time we go snake trapping or if we catch a pretty big snake here pretty soon I'm still gonna leave that one trap set. Hopefully we'll get a big snake in there If we get a big big if we could get like a big copperhead maybe even a rattlesnake then we could eat him Like I know we can eat those. I have no idea if we can eat a water snake I don't know if that's possible. Maybe they're poisonous I know they're not venomous, but I'm not sure if they're poisonous. And I probably did get those two mixed up earlier in the video, just in case you know. Venomous and poisonous, not the same thing. Venomous means that they have to inject it into your bloodstream, meaning like they bite you, and then you're like poisoned. Poisonous, on the other hand, means that you have to eat it for it to like poison you. So from what I know, if you ate venom, you're good, and if you inject poison you're good i don't know about that but i know that you can eat venom and you'll be fine i don't know guys this river it just reminds me of a jungle i'm just waiting for one to follow the sky i mean look at this you got a giant watering hole over here filled with crocodiles then over here you got the bank where people very few people ride over here and then you got these massive amounts of tall grass and weird looking trees it's really colorful and i really do like that i mean look at that that's insane. We're also coming a coon and possum trap in here because this place is infested with possums and there's quite a lot of coons too. And they're kind of just waiting on me to catch them. But anyways, guys, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that so you don't miss the upcoming snake and trapping videos. We're definitely doing them here pretty soon. It's only going to be a few months until it's fall. But subscribe if you're not already. If you want to support the channel, here's another one of the shirts that you can buy. Like the red one I showed earlier. This is a blue one just like it. These are like the orange camo socks. They got the cage in the front and the camo in the back. Back. The Crocs, they're not for sale. Unfortunately, we're kind of working out a deal. That's okay. I'm going to skirt, skirt, skeet out of here before the snakes come and rebel on me. And we'll see you guys later. Hopefully, I don't die. If you enjoy it, go down, hit that like button. Subscribe for more. Turn on the notification bell. Go cop some merch. Hashtag Jesus. Hashtag Grace.